Hello everybody and welcome back to Live or Diecast. Had a lot going on here recently. Uh, me and the boy went out as I'm sure you all seen and we had an awesome epic hunt. Uh, found the Ford F1 purple pickup truck. Super treasure hunt. Super stoked. I let my son pull it. He was so excited. Um, as most of you will probably see, I posted a Pokemon there was this new set that come out. He was stoked about. He wanted it. We've never bought an ETB before just because they're a little above my price range. Y'all know I'm a cheapskate. I only buy a mainline, so y'all know how I roll. Um, but it was his birthday. I bought him a couple nice collection boxes and an ETB. He opened up the collection boxes, had some awesome pulls on some single packs, and then he wanted to do the ETB on... He wanted, to do, he wanted me to take a video of him and post it on my YouTube channel. And I said, you know what, buddy? Let's do it. So we did. So the comments are disabled. I didn't do that. YouTube must have did that to keep minors safe. I'm not sure. There's nothing bad in the video. But for some reason, they turned the comments off. So maybe they'll turn them back on. Let me know what you all think. I don't know if any of you all collect Pokemon cards or not. I personally don't. Uh, but I get a joy from watching my son open them and pull the cards he wants. Kind of like when I open a fresh case of Hot Wheels and pull the car that I want. So I was excited for him. He had some great pulls. It was awesome that that happened because it, it doesn't usually happen like that. We usually buy stuff and really don't get anything and he's kind of bummed and I'm bummed because we wasted the money, but it was his birthday and, and it came through. Somebody was looking out for us, gave him some good pulls. He was stoked, He was excited. he's excited to show his friends today at the party. So anyways, I got off a little off track. This is a mail call video. I have a mail call from the one, the only, Jason over at Mustang Hunter Diecast. Thank you, Jason. Much appreciated. I can't wait to open that up and see what's in it. And then another one. I got these on the same day. I've had them for a couple days. It's been killing me to open them up and see these challengers for the new Ladder Wars King of the 573 here at Live or Diecast. So this one's from King Nut Diecast. We are going to open this bad boy up. I'm going to open it up with you all watching. And you all can see what's in here and see this new Challenger. And I do have uh, some races set up for tomorrow. So stay tuned for Ladder Wars, Power of Tower, King of the 573 here at Live or Diecast. King Nut, Eric, thank you very much for sending this. Much appreciate. Oh, sweet. Check this out, you guys. It's official. Yep, me and King Nut are tight. That's right. You've seen it here, folks. King Nut Diecast. Love the new sticker, buddy. Much appreciated. Thank you for sending that to me. I will definitely put it somewhere to be seen. And let's get right to it and see what is in here. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So you sent... <laughs> you did it to me, buddy. You sent the same stuff I sent to you. Um, so he sent the yellow shadow jet. And as you all know, Live or Diecast is on the gauntlet at King, King Nut Diecast. And I have one of these that's on the gauntlet. And I have the Baby Ruth Dodge concept. This is not the Baby Ruth Dodge concept. But this is the Dodge concept. And he says this is the number one challenger. And this must be his number two challenger. So we'll run this one first. We'll run this one second. Really funny. This is really funny. Mine, I have found, I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe the one that I sent to you had the little... The little glass in there is loose. It's not attached. And I don't know if it's like that on all of them or if it's just something that happened to a few of them. But I believe mine was like that too. Maybe not. I know I've seen one like that before at the flea market or something. But So that's pretty cool. And yours is the same way. I will... Do you want me to attach that glass onto it or leave it off? King Nut, Eric, let me know. If you want to leave it off, I'll leave it off. If you want me to try to attach it back on there, I will do that too. This Dodge Concept, it's got a metal base, got some weight to it. I have not seen, I have not seen this 
variation of the Dodge concept. Sitting on the gold saw blades or the tri what it, the three spokes, three spoke directional gold wheels. That thing looks fat. Excuse me. That thing looks fast just sitting still in the package, doesn't it? So stay tuned for the races. You'll see King Nut. He'll be trying, uh, he'll be taking on the gauntlet. I've got uh, three more racers in front of him, so it'll be a couple weeks, Eric, but stay tuned. I have a feeling you're going to be on the gauntlet in one of these cars, if not, or sorry, not the gauntlet, the Power of Tower Ladder Wars at live or die cast the gauntlet is at king nut die cast not to be confused sorry about that so i have a feeling you'll see one of these two cars if not both on the tower of power it looks like he threw a couple of extras in there the variations the lancia delta and the custom 18 Ford Mustang GT. That's the latest variation from the N case. Now N case is the one that we just found that that pickup super treasure hunt in. Sweet. Yeah, I do not have this one. I have not picked it up yet. And I do not have the red Lancey either. I have the white one. It's King Nut, much appreciated. Thank you, my friend. I'm assuming you sent these for the clip. Oh, it looks like I missed the note. Oh, dang it. It says, Brandon, at Live or Die Cast, I hope these cars bring me the same luck on the track that they have brought you. The Shadow Jet is my first competitor. And then the Dodge Concept. I also sent you two Kroger exclusives. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you for the awesome channel and keep up the good work. Now see, I'm glad you sent this because I did not know, I didn't know these were Kroger exclusive. We do not have Krogers around here. So I get discouraged because I see everybody finding these awesome finds at Kroger's, the Kroger exclusives, just massive, massive drops of Hot Wheels at these Kroger grocery stores. We don't have any around here. Our grocery stores are like Hot Wheels. What are those? Like they don't even know, like, I don't even think we have a Hot Wheels section. I don't know where those are. And I'm like, okay. So I go look in and I'll find like some random little display that has some old Hot Wheels that's been there six, seven months. So Kroger exclusives are awesome. I'm glad you said that. I did not know that. That's probably why I haven't gotten these because I haven't seen them. So much appreciated, Eric. I thank you so much, man. That's awesome. Yeah, we just, I wish we had Kroger's around here, but unfortunately we do not. So thanks to you, I've got some Kroger exclusives to add to my, add to my exclusive collection. Thank you for the letter. I'll keep it forever. Yeah, it was kind of weird. I went out to the mailbox and I had a package from King Nut and the Mustang Hunter on the same day. And I was like, man, it must be my really my lucky day. Two of my favorite YouTubers sent me a package on the same day. So I was pretty stoked about that. Mustang Hunter Diecast sent this one. Thank you very much. Uh, let's open this up and see what's in this bad boy. Now, I know you all know Mustang Hunter has started doing some racing on his channel, too. And I've been slacking. I just, man, I haven't really been sending a lot out. My my funds have been kind of tight and my son's birthday and everything. And I've just been trying to save some money and put some money back. And I just, I haven't been sending a lot of stuff out. So I'm sorry. I, I hope to uh, get to sending some more stuff out soon. And I definitely need to get some competitors, if not one competitor, at least one out to the Mustang Hunter. So Jason, be on the lookout. I'm going to send you something and try to, See if I can be competitive at your track as well as King Nuts and maybe my luck will carry over. And if it doesn't, well, we'll have fun trying anyways. So let's open this up. I know he sent he sent the competitor. So I'm stoked about seeing what, what he sent. Oh, I forgot about this, man. Sweet. 
Boom, check this out. The yellow GMC Cyclone. This is a Kroger exclusive also, I believe. I've got all the other color variations. And I see he posted a picture or something. I was like, man, that yellow Cyclone is fire. And he was like, you know what, buddy? I got a couple extras and I will send you one with my Challenger. I forgot all about this, man. Sweet. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I used to have a little GMC Sonoma extended cab. It was the Sport Edition. Uh, had a five-speed. It was kind of lowered. It was had some nice wheels on it. Um, it was it was really cool. And I used to pack my four-wheeler around in that thing. I really liked it. But these little Cyclones are, are sweet, man. And now I got the Kroger exclusive. That's awesome, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now this one it says racer. Don't know if it's fast, laugh out loud. So this one's gonna challenge the power of tower ladder wars. It is the two jet Z. And that is from Jason over at Mustang Hunter Diecast. He sent that in to take on ladder wars. So wish him luck. I will put you right in line behind behind King Nut and the other. I need to keep these together so I don't get them mixed up. And then we've got. Oh, wow, Jason. Okay. Let's see here. Dude, today was a mega score. I got another. It's official. I'm cool. Liver die cast is cool. Mustang Hunter die cast. King Nut die cast. Did you all plan to send these to me at the same time? If you did, that's awesome, man. Y'all made my day, dude. That is sweet. There you go. Two of the biggest names in die cast collecting on YouTube right there. Sending me stickers and packages. That is awesome. Exciting. Okay, so... Let's, we're going to go to this right here. This is, man, I believe, I don't know for sure, don't quote me on this, but I believe this is a Kroger, this is a Kroger exclusive as well. The 87 Buick Regal GNX in black. It's got the gray MC5s on all four corners. My first car was a G body. It was an 81 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme, two door. Rip the motor, tranny, rear end out of it. Put a 12 bolt posi in it. 350 turbo tranny with the shift kit. And a 350 four bolt main uh, Chevy engine. And had the heads port polished, had a cam. It was, it was sweet. I ran 1280s with it in a quarter mile right out of high school. Had a lot of fun with that car. That was the car I had when I met my high school sweetheart who became my wife. And I love that car. So the G-Bodies, this is not a Cutlass, it's a Regal, but it's still a G-Body. And I do. I have a soft spot for G-Bodies. I really do. I sold that car to buy a lawn mowing company. And I mowed on nights and weekends after my full-time job uh, until dark. And I made a lot of money with that, with that setup. And then once I got some accounts together and got busy in life and had kids and needed to be home at more, I sold all the lawn mowing company. And then I was like, man, I wish I had my car back, but that's okay. I'll have something maybe someday and I'll be able to share that with you guys too. So Jason, thank you very much. Uh, comment below, is this a Kroger exclusive? I believe it is. I picked up the red one, uh, the red Buick. And it's the, it's, and I think it was, I think it's from the end case too. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that, but sweet thank you very much so kroger exclusive day man what is up with that that is awesome it's awesome to have friends in the diecast community who look out for you man when they hear that you don't have a kroger or you can't get your hands on something it seems like somebody is always out there with an open ear and friendliness ready to spread and that's why i say i'm going to start saying that this is my new catchphrase friendliness is free Leave it behind everywhere you go. It doesn't cost anything, guys, gals. Uh, Rapid Nismo commented on my last video, and he was like, man, 
Friendliness is free. That is awesome. That is a great phrase, catchphrase, uh, inspirational phrase. Friendliness is free. So remember that, everybody. All right, now you all know Mustang Hunter sent me this killer pink custom twi twin mill two for King of the 573 Race Wars. And I sent him a package after, you know, it had it had got defeated and was off, was no longer champ. And I sent this back to him thinking he would want it back. And he was like, oh man, I, I meant for you to keep that in your collection. He goes, the next time I send you out a package, I'll send it back. And I was like, really? I wish I would have known that because I would have never sent it back. We got another custom from Mustang Hunter Diecast. You all have seen this before, I believe. But it is, it is cool. I like the color of the wheels with that pink. My son actually really does this car because pink is his favorite color. So I will definitely keep that. I love the little, the little box, the little blisters you put it in. That's sweet. All right, you guys, you're not gonna believe this. So I was going through here and I kind of saw this. I thought it was, <clears throat> at first glance, <clears throat> I thought it was the McLaren Spider because it kind of has that same color and it's got the Matchbox wheels on it, right? Just, just real quick. And that is that error that I found with the Hot Wheels PR5 on the back. Pretty sweet. Sorry about my glare, you guys. I'm trying to work on that. I've, my setup's kind of changed a little bit and and it uh, isn't doesn't seem to be as good at lighting as it was before, so I'll figure it out. But I'm gonna take this bad boy out of here and show you all this. Check this out, you guys. This is sweet. I believe this is the 88 Honda CRX. It is a custom from Jason, Mustang Hunter Diecast. Stoked, stoked to have it in my collection. It's going right in the display. Oh, wow. It's got the interior details done. It's got the Matchbox Gold five spokes on it. Look at that color. Look at the details on the front. Check that out. Look at the details on the back, you guys, gals. Jason, I'm stoked, bro. This is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Unbelievable. I don't know if you all can see down in that glass at the de interior detail. Man, I wish I could get a better. But this thing is gorgeous, you guys. Unbelievable. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The diecast community is the best right here. The little family, little group we've created, close niched, helpful, wonderful, wonderful people. And I'm lucky, I'm glad to be a part of it. I'm glad y'all accepted me, let me in. I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching my videos, interacting with my channel, Live or Diecast. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit the bell, leave a comment below, let me know what you all think of my videos, my collection, my awesome buddies sending me awesome stuff. This thing is beautiful and it is going right here right in the collection it will be there forever i will keep it forever jason thank you so much eric thank you so much for sending me the packages you guys the kroger exclusives are off the hook thank you so much stay tuned to see your racers on the track ladder wars king of the 573 this sunday on live or die cast until next time i'm out